Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, India is in deep mourning. Tonight, India is angry. Tonight, India demands justice after the loss of 40 of its bravest Jawans in an absolutely abhorrent, cowardly attack in Avantipura, Pulwama in Kashmir, when a jesh e mohammed dastard rammed a vehicle carrying explosives weighing 350 kilograms into a CRPF truck carrying at least 45 Jawans. And this was a truck that was part of a convoy of 78 trucks carrying 2,500 Jawans. 40 families today have been devastated. A mother has lost her son. A daughter has lost her father. A wife has lost her partner. A nation has lost its patriots. These decorated soldiers were all targeted by cowards in the line of duty. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot describe in words the aftermath of such an attack. Pictures that will make your stomach churn, your heart will wrench if you are human. And ladies and gentlemen, who will have the courage to make that phone call to a family who was waiting for its son, for its husband, for their father? Who will call them and break to them the news that your son will never return? Because absolute evil unleashed on our security men who keep us safe, apart from demanding payback tonight, ladies and gentlemen, India also wants accountability, accountability from those who govern us, accountability for every single life. Because if a 350 kilogram car just rams into a truck, ladies and gentlemen, why didn't we know about it? Was the route not sanitized? Was somebody sleeping on the job or was somebody sharing this information with the evil. Ladies and gentlemen, questions will need to be answered and questions will need to be answered by those who every day make it their political business, their political dhanda to eulogize terror and say this is a disenchanted and alienated valley. What will you answer to the families of those 40 soldiers today? Think about it as I play out the story, in fact, the horror that unfolded today. Blood soaked bodies, mangled limbs strewn all over, severed parts being gathered by colleagues from the blast site. These images have plunged the nation into despair. The death toll making it deadlier than the Uri strike of 2016. This was an IED attack. Uh, the uh, CRPF bus came under the attack and later fire was opened on the bus which was carrying the CRPF personnel. jesh e mohammed has claimed the responsibility uh, for this attack and they already had come up with their posters giving threats that they will be conducting attacks in Kashmir Valley. One park bag dusted ramming an explosive laden vehicle into a CRPF vehicle carrying a Jawans. The bus that came under attack has uh, been put under a cover. Uh, the experts have been brought into the spot to ascertain uh, to know that as what kind of explosive was uh, used for uh, this terror strike. A uh, CRPF Jawans who were traveling uh, towards Srinagar came under attack and lost their lives on the National Highway 44. Times now salutes the ultimate sacrifice of our braves. Tonight, a nation wants payback. No more lip service. India wants justice. Bureau Report, Times Now. And on the case tonight, ladies and gentlemen, if I can ever make a case out of this, I want to ask just a few pertinent questions. 
questions that children of these soldiers may want to ask the authorities, may want to ask our netas. Questions based on facts that will completely startle you. Over 2,500 Jawans, many of who were returning from leave to rejoin duty in the valley, were traveling in a convoy of 78 vehicles, ladies and gentlemen, not one or two, 78 vehicles, 2,500 lives on the line when they were ambushed on the Srinagar Jammu Highway in Avantipura. So does that mean that India cannot even secure those who secure us? India can't even provide cover to those who were going to the border in extreme climatic conditions to safeguard you and me. Reports have confirmed that over 350 kg of explosives were being ferried in a Mahindra Scorpio and there was specific intel regarding a security threat. Then why did the intelligence agencies undermine the scale of the plot? And our team of reporters on the ground have confirmed that the jaish e mohammed had since November been issuing open threats of a terror strike in the form of posters, posters that had been put up in that area. Then why wasn't action taken to beef up security in the state? Why wasn't that route of these Jawans sanitized? How could a car with 350 kgs of explosives escape the eye of our intelligence agencies and get into the way of this convoy of 78 trucks. And most importantly, reports have also confirmed that the attack was carried out by the Afsal Guru squad of the Jaish e Mohammed. Then shouldn't the lobby that eulogizes the likes of Afsal Guru be punished tonight? Will there be any retribution for them? Because ladies and gentlemen, they have written these letters to the Prime Minister asking for the mortal remains of Afzal Guru to be handed over back. They are worried about the man who attacked the parliament in a dastardly terror attack. But they will never, the never, ask about our soldiers. Come and share a tear with their family. And ladies and gentlemen, the answers are not difficult to find. While monetary support comes from across the border, ideological support is being provided by a clutch of politicians, some ex-chief ministers, even members of parliament. And listen into this. I have always said that the militant, especially the local militant, he is son of the soil. Our effort is to make sure that we can बचा सके जम्मू कश्मीर में न सिर्फ हुरियत के साथ बल्कि जो बंदूक बरदार हैं उनके साथ भी जो मिलिटेंट लीडरशिप है उनके साथ भी बातचीत होनी चाहिए क्योंकि वही है जिनके हाथ में बंदूक है और वही है जो बंदूक को बंद कर सकते हैं हम कोई भी ऐसा ऑपरेशन नहीं चाहेंगे जिसका टारगेट यहां के आवाम को बनाया जाएगा ये जो क्रैकडाउन्स और किलिंग्स और ज्यादतियाँ इसको आप कोई भी नाम दें या आप इसको कोई नाम ना भी दें तब भी जनाब हमारे तरफ से इसको कोई सपोर्ट नहीं दिया जाएगा कत्लगारत आज जिनोसाइड चल रहा है यहाँ पे आज हमारे बच्चों को दिन दाढ़े मारा जाता है एक तरफ से आप कहते हो ये हमारे बच्चे हैं जो भटके हुए हैं दूसरी तरफ आप उनको आर्मी के खेप से खेप लेके ब्रिगेड ब्रिगेड के ब्रिगेड लेके ले उनको उनका कत्लाम करते हो ये कहाँ का इंसाफ है? Ladies and gentlemen, there is only one legitimate question tonight, and the legitimate question is how will we avenge the death of our braves? How will we go and look their families in their eyes? That's the question, and that's the debate. Coming up. You're watching the news hour at nine. Debate number one on Times Now. Super Prime Time. And joining me tonight, Gaurav Bhatia, national spokesperson of the BJP, Sushil Pandit, activist, hails from Kashmir and knows the situation there better than any of us who've never lived there. RSN Singh, author and strategic affairs expert, Najamu Sakib, 
spokesperson of the PDP, Majid Haidri, political analyst, Vivek Srivastav, leader of the CPI, and Dr. John Dayal, human rights activist. Also joining me on the show in a bit will be Junaid Matu, mayor of Srinagar. And tonight, on the standpoint, I just want to get Mr. Gaurav Bhatia. In fact, why don't I get Mr. Sushil Pandit tonight? Mr. Sushil Pandit to ask questions to Mr. Najamu Sakib, the spokesperson of the PDP. Mr. Sakib, ye jo Mehbooba Mufti har vakat, har vakat jinko dil mein dard rehta hai, sirf, sirf unke liye jo terrorists hai. She actually canvasses for talks with militants, talks with people who have picked up guns and she has no word to say for our security forces. Tonight, I want to ask you, Mr. Sakib. Tonight, what will you say to these soldiers? Because I know many of these soldiers and braves actually are part of her own security detail. Well, <clears throat> Navika, first of all, this we mourn with the families who have lost their loved ones. This is the deadliest attack which uh, our state has seen. 40 or uh, for the last count it's more than 40 plus Javans who have lost their lives uh, I mean you know there are many more who are injured it's a it's a tragic incident that has happened in our state and it's a, it's a huge security lapse I mean you have to first of all uh, you know recall that Jammu and Kashmir is under president's rule and uh, an attack of this gravity of this situation uh, it, it's, it's a serious security lapse and calls for a proper investigation into the matter having said that you know uh, I take umbrage to your earlier comment where you said Dalali you know hum Dalali nahi karte hai. Dalali kuch aur lo karte honge hum seva karte hai logon ki I take serious affront to your comment having said that let's move on to the coming point we always advocate dekhi jab hum jab Uri attack hua uske baad har ek political uh, jo setup society ke hai, unho ne bola reprisal measures, avenge the blood of those who have lost their lives and then there was a surgical strike. I don't see the situation improving. Us time ke baad aaj usse zyada uh, jo hai humare naujawan they have lost their lives. It's our blood. These are our people. These are our countrymen. Chahe wo Kashmir mein ho, chahe wo saare jo security forces ke hai. These are our country people <laughs> who are losing their lives. You know, at the end of the day, the more escalations from all sides will only consume us and the eventual victim of all this will be humanity. <laughs> well, well, Mr. Mr. Sakib, Sushil Pandit. This is amazing. Wohi, wohi purana tarana. Navika, today you are mourning, uh, you are moved to tears. I am mourning, this entire country is in pain. I wish you had called some saner voices from Kashmir. I, I don't want to hear the same old broken record, the same old rhetoric, the same old mocking tone telling us that we must actually surrender. We must wave a white flag to the terror machine unleashed on us, that we must not defend ourselves, that we must come down on our knees and beg these terrorists for mercy. That is what Mehbooba Mufti has been advocating. These are our boys. If they are carrying guns, so what? Talk to them. Talk to Huriyat. Talk to Pakistan. Isn't what she's been haranguing for several years now? What is new in this? Who do we talk to? Azhar Mahmood, who claimed the responsibility for this attack today. What do we talk to him about? Please spare us, spare our lives. Stop attacking us, begging for mercy. Is that what you want us to do? Talk to these killers. Let's not forget, this is not a brain Is that game. what you want a us to do? The country has lost more than 40 of its children. Yes, more than 40 yes. Have 40 died of today. my sons and, and brothers. Game. 40 of my Indian patriots. I wish this voice wasn't there today, mocking at me from Kashmir. Navika, please put him off or I am going off. I am not going to have a slanging match with this man. And all you can do I don't want to have a slanging match with someone who is gloating over the blood of these 42 soldiers. Some other day, not today. 
Well, I want to get in with Mr. R. S. N. Singh. Mr. R. S. N. Singh. Mr. R. S. N. Singh. And yeah. all you can do is play politics. And what are you doing, sir? May I, may I very humbly ask you? We I don't want to raise my voice today. We are only asking that today is the time when we need to introspect. Okay. And introspect about what? About going down on our knees and asking for forgiveness from Pakistan and its our, terrorists? Why we is are that losing, what we need to introspect we about? Is that what you Kashmir want us to introspect about? Javans? Every day, why on borders, on in, in in Kashmir? Every day, why are we losing? You know, there are massive reprisal measures. We are every losing day, because there is a war unleashed on us. Every day, you are losing lives. We are losing, we are losing, life. Life. We are losing we are our sons because there is a jihad and declared on us. And still we are losing people created. because you want but to break this country and they don't break you through that. That's why we are losing lives. They are. We are losing lives to keep our country one. And Remember that, that and it will always be one. Who is furthering the agenda of BJP? This is under his nose. I want to what get in Mr. Gaurav Bhatia before I go across to Colonel R.S. and Singh. Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, look at the language of your erstwhile partner. You had shaken hands with this PDP to make a government in Jammu and Kashmir. So tonight, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, I want to ask you, I want to ask you, what is the political ideology of the BJP that made it shake hands with the PDP, which does not call a terrorist a terrorist, which wants our soldiers to go down on their knees in front of Pakistan and Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, may I tell you, at a time when Nepal, when United States of America is condemning this terror attack. Terror attack that's taken 40 lives away from us, 40 of our patriots away from us, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia. On that day, there is not one word coming from Imran Khan. And these people all the time want a dialogue with Pakistan. Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, answer this country today that unholy alliances for the sake of power, is that what is the dharma? of every political party in this country? We are paying the price for the last four years, Gaurav. Yes. Yes. Uh, Navika, I agree with the Mr. Sushil Pandit that uh, let's not trivialize the debate by shouting over each other. I first start by offering deepest condolences to the family members who have tears in their eyes. And I am praying as an Indian that the brave soldiers who have been injured recover soon. But I must also say on behalf of the BJP and the government that yes, as a nation we are wounded by a terrorist Taan, but we will retaliate so strong that this terrorist Taan will be dead because they have attacked our country. And I was hearing the PDP spokesperson and I felt really bad as an Indian. He referred to this incident and he said, our state, our state. No, sir, you are wrong. It is our country. Our country has been attacked. The sovereignty of the country has been attacked. And as rightly said by PM Narendra Modi ji, the sacrifices of our brave security personnel shall not go in vain. And as we discuss this, I will not politicize the debate, Navika, because that would be trivializing the sacrifice of these brave martyrs also. I just want to assure a nation that is looking up to the ruling party that we will respond with all our might and have faith in the leadership Enough. of Narendra Modi ji Enough. and valor of the Indian army. Enough. As we discuss this, the Prime Minister is also taking stock of the situation. The uh, Home Minister of the country is having meetings with people who are experts in their field and I'm talking about the Indian Army so and where were other the experts? intelligence officers. Where were the experts so we have full when faith 78 in them and we will respond to them. in this convoy were being attacked, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, where were these experts then? What, where were these experts when 350 kgs of explosives came in the way yeah, of yeah. this convoy, sir? Where were these experts? Would you like to answer? this country about that question as well? I, I will. 
I I will like Nation, to answer. Why is that status uh, given to The intelligence agencies, the Indian Army, with a, a firm support of the government, work day and night to keep the country safe. 850 terrorists gunned down by the brave Indian Army with the support of the government in the last four and a half years. Pakistan has been isolated internationally in Avika. Their begging bowl had to turn towards the uh, Chinese government oh. from the US because the US Mr. 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 The separatists who are taking Mr. Mr. from Pakistan Singh, what we have are been getting put behind in bars. return for accountability is actually Colonel Arison saying statistics. Statistics and will statistics give any no, satisfaction uh, no, uh, to uh, those I 40 families? You asked me such a question, Navika, and I thought but, it is my response. Uh, no, this, this baby ka, this baby ka baap aaj chala gaya ho, usko aap kya kahenge? Ke saare 800 terrorists maare gaye, isliye aap roye mat. Ke Pakistan bhi mang raha hai. Aap, aap is ye batayenge ek maan ko jiska beta aaj chala gaya, aap usko ye batayenge. कि पाकिस्तान आज आइसोलेटेड है इंटरनेशनली क्या बताएंगे आज सर नाविका नाविका लेट मी टेल यू एज अ स्ट्रेटजी कैनलसिस दिस दिस फेलोज वेर ऑन मूव नाउ वेदर हाउ टैक्टिकली देवर मूविंग दैट इज नॉट फॉर मी टू जज ये बताएंगे बट बट लेट मी टेल यू let me let me tell you that tomorrow it could happen with anybody a normal person a civilian who is moving he or she or you know a group of people a new inflection point has arrived arrived in the in the in the in the, in the trajectory of pro proxy war and this is the first time i have seen a suicide bomber being used like this in india and and let me tell you i was i was apprehensive what is happening you know how the taliban is getting uh, you know um, i mean foothold in afghanistan and uh, the uh, pakistanis are finding their feet there i knew that this will arrive but i did not know that this will arrive so soon and the worst is yet to come remember just uh, you know few, few days back your intelligence agencies unraveled a plan of you know uh, uh, plans to launch chemi uh, chemical attack against uh, you know uh, mass targets in india so if you if you combine these uh, all these factors the the navika the problem is i you know i mean let's not be episodical you know why i am telling you this because when 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 73 crpf personnel were killed and somebody you know some the group of the students danced around whole night, whole night we 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 you know uh, we had a different take on the issue when there was a tukde tukde there was a different take on the issue when when uh, you know the hindus were you know driven out of the valley we had a different issue and now you, you say that why have you have you arrived at this point and and what is the solution this solution for god's sake is that what have we done to what have we done with the proxies within what have we done with the let me tell you no attack of this nature on a highway or otherwise can take place without the support or facilitation of people people within and who are who are these facilitators I, if i may remind you afzal afzal guru now mahbooba is so passionate and concerned about uh, uh, about this man but she was not concerned that the temple of democracy the parliament was sought to be destroyed by this man and let me tell you her father her father had appealed for clemency what? then Majid and so did Ma majid Ma hydri tonight and let i me want tell you, you to answer tell, this country let, mr majid hydri tonight i want to ask you at least today Will you have any mourning for the 40 Jawans who've lost their lives? Aaj kam se kam aap is desh se maafi mangenge ki aap Abzal Guru jaisong ke liye to lardte hain, lekin 40 Jawan jo maare gaye, unke liye aapke paas koi aansu nahi hai. Madam, I first time agree with Garo Bhatia ji that it should not be a shouting match. It is not only the killing of 40 Jawans, it is massacre of 40 families. On the day of Valentine's when it was supposed to be red of happiness, it was the blood of these Jawans who have come from across the country getting spilled over the saffron karevas in South Kashmir towards on the side of gateway to Srinagar. 
but the point is that should i only mourn these killings this massacre or should i also mourn the operation all out failure or should i only mourn these killings or should i also mourn the failure of surgical strike should i only mourn new delhi stubbornness to resolve kashmir through a political dialogue or should i also you should only how mourn. the surgical strike you should failed, only mourn how for this failed, how even today even today mr martin i think you want to stop this stop this be very selective in your mourning you should only mourn for this even today mr martin i think you want to stop this 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 stop Which is why no, I'm, I'm saying, saying yes, today this country, this country is one family. Yes, we are all one family. We've lost our sons. I don't want this woman on the show. Why should I mock for? I don't want him mocking at me. Today we 1.25 billion people are one family. We've lost our members. Now stop this. Please chop him off. There is. I don't want to hear it. There is also a hospitality industry being run. There is also a hospitality industry being run. I don't want to hear this man. Please take him off. So don't draw these binaries. Don't draw these binaries. Please take him off. Don't even dare to compare our peace and the hatred. Please take him off. We don't want this warning. We don't want this consolation. Please take him off. I today want to get him. I want to get him. It has to be his own. And the same voice. And I want to ask Dr. John Dayal. I want to ask Dr. John Dayal today. You are talking about isolation. Dr. Dr. John Dayal. You are a man of peace, or that's what you've claimed over so many years when you've been debating with us. Today, I want to ask you, Dr. John Dayal, when Mr. Majid Haidri, with whom you are often in support, asking for a dialogue with Pakistan, with whom you are in support when you are saying that uh, there should be talks with uh, the separatists for those who are Pakistan proxies. Today, I want to ask you, Dr. John Dayal. should our head not hang in shame when people like mr majid haidri draw a binary and actually talk about conditional mourning on a day india has lost 40 of its bravest sons conditional mourning no mourning can never be conditional and i think navika today you have asked questions of, of everyone of including the government and the government also has not been able to Answer the questions. Four battalions of the CRP <coughs> going single file after a window of opportunity in the ice. The sitting ducks. I'm not going into that. The solution lies in eliminating the complex machine which creates these things. It can be not just done by surgical strikes alone. Correct. You have to incapacitate. external aggression you have to incapacitate internal insurgency by all means military attack for military attack dialogue for dialogue peace offering for peace offering is a complex thing and i think here is the larger question you have asked you know it is not saying withdraw somebody's security and they will feel threatened and they will cry for peace it is not that in fact you are giving them security to ensure that the peace process goes on and But i appreciate sir, this but sir center. I you know legitimately to the prime minister please legitimately don't today please the people of this country no, the, the widows of these soldiers the mothers of these we, soldiers we are, will uh, ask the question ki itne paise kharch kiye in logon ke liye jo zeher ugalte hain aur mere lal ke liye kuch nahi mere bete ke liye kuch nahi mere husband ke liye kuch nahi we no I, I i think it is our country every person dead is our own relative our own kin as an indian and i mourn like you have done thank you for shedding a tear for us also because our tears would not be seen so clearly i i entirely agree with what you're saying the country mourns for the death of these soldiers the crp jawans as much as we mourn when the mao is killed them in chatisgarh or when they are killed in the northeast they are doing their duty they don't deserve to die without seeing the enemy eye to eye facing bullet for bullet and shooting this is not the way soldiers should die having said that let me repeat it i am asking the prime minister don't tell us what you will do do it do it in a composite comprehensive thought out 
manner where you have thought of the end, Navika, the beginning, I please come in? and the middle. Do that, please, instead of just saying that you will do it. Sir, sermons are good when yes, they are sir. in the church, sir. John, I'm not exactly, at a time when saying. 40 of our braves, no. our today, 40 today, 40 today. Of our braves today, have been killed, today, sir, ruthlessly. I am moving yes. with you. It's not a sermon. It is not a sermon. It is strategic advice. Without it is strategic, strategic advice. advice. Don't Where was your strategic you advice Ibn to Ibn Omar Ibn Abdullah Ibn and Mehbooba Mufti Bats. before this? Bats. Where was your strategic Bats. advice? Bats. And let me get in another strategic Bats. advisor Bats. like Bats. Uh, Bats. Uh, Mr. Bats. Vivek Srivastava. Mr. Sure. Vivek Srivastava. Where was this strategic advice when your yes. party went knocking on the doors of the separatists no, asking no, no. for dialogue with them? Those who take their orders from Pakistan, oh. you want the Indian state to bow down before them, go thank down you, on their you, knees thank before you for them? Thank you for letting me speak. Yes, thank you for... Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for letting me speak, finally, after 40 minutes. And I do not know why I am not sitting inside the studio with you. I don't think Mr. I would have Vivek thought with Shivastav, Mr. Sushil Pandit, he's a good friend. Mr. But Srivastav, anyway, no, I point. want to make yes. only one no, let, point let to you tonight. No, Mr. Mr. Srivastav, you will hear me tonight. You will hear me tonight before I hear you. And I want to tell you, Mr. Vivek Srivastav, you are talking about speak? your right to I've speak, you for your opportunity minutes. to speak when 40 of our soldiers yes. have been silenced forever, yes. sir. They will never speak. आप लड़ रहे हैं अपना बोलने के लिए अपना जहर उगलने के लिए 40 हमारे जवान हैं जो कभी बोलेंगे नहीं आप 40 उनकी जुबान बंद हो गई है आज हमेशा के लिए वो अपने बच्चों से भी बात नहीं कर पाएंगे आप दुनिया को बुलवाइए नाविका दिस इज वेरी शेमफुल बिहेवियर I can't, I can't. Aap pehle boliye sir. Now listen to me. Mera sara time Navika inko aad de dijega. Can I speak? Mera sara time inko de dijega. Can I speak? Lekin kam se kam is tarah se behavior mat dikhaai. Let me speak. Navika, I urge you. Give all my time to him tonight. This is not a debate sir. This is not a debate sir. Aapke magar mach ke aasu band karo. Magar mach ke aasu band karo. You want my time you take. 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 इस देश में मिस्टर मिस्टर विवेक श्रीवास्तव मिस्टर विवेक श्रीवास्तव इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव एनी एनी डिसेंसी लेफ्ट इन यू मिस्टर विवेक श्रीवास्तव टुडे यू विल एक्चुअली टेक बैक योर वर्ड्स एंड एंड गिव अ मैसेज टू दोस फैमिलीज हु आर ग्रीविंग सर इंस्टेड ऑफ कमिंग डाउन टू योर गटर ले� no, it is no gutter level politics, ma'am. This country is in danger. And this country is not going to save this country. Every six months, there is a danger. 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 Pakistan is the most famous nation. The people who are standing with the gang are standing with the gang. And this week, Adani Sahib is standing with the gang in Pakistan. Nadika, this is what has happened. Why should we not hold the government accountable? और राहुल गांधी और ये सारे लोग टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग के साथ खड़े थे। क्यों है पाकिस्तान इस देश में? अगर ये इतना पाकिस्तान से नफरत करते हैं, क्यों नहीं तोड़ दे डिप्लोमैटिक रिलेशंस को? Why don't they break it off? They don't have the guts. They are trading with Pakistan. और ये आज आप बुरी पे बोल रहे हैं, आज आप मेरे को बुरा मार रहे हैं। In this week, so many Indian businessmen will be carrying on their trade with Pakistan. Shame on this. Shame on you, Arab Khadija, and shame on the Commerce Ministry. You are not even stopping the trade with Pakistan. So forget it. Why is Pakistan the most favoured nation? Tell me. Why are you not giving them an answer? Tell me. You are diplomatic. You are still trading with Pakistan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry gentlemen, I'm sorry, this is the last thing that I want on, on the news are tonight. Tonight, as, as, and as we are talking, aap apni politics agar kinare kare, to aapko batao, terrorists have attacked a police station in Shopia. That's the latest coming in from there. And what do we see in our stu studio? We see, once again, warring politicians. Sohail joins me on the phone line. Sohail, what's the latest information that you have? Well, we uh, talk about this incident. This has happened in Kigam area of uh, Shupanya, where a grenade was lobbed on the police station, followed by firing. But the, uh, the police uh, personnel who were deployed at the police station retaliated back. The area is under cordon. And meanwhile, the security forces have also launched a uh, search and cordon and search operation in 15 villages of Pulwama. And this is uh, being seen in the, in the backdrop of the attack that took place uh, today on the National Highway 44 in Avantipura area of uh, uh, Kashmir Valley. 
Thanks, Sohail, for that update. The attack has been thwarted by our soldiers today, by our police forces. And I want to get in Najamu Sakir once again. I want to ask you this question tonight. Will you still talk about your politics at a time when you should be talking and you should be worried about the security forces who are putting their lives on the line for securing India, for securing your own leaders? When we talk of dialogue, we talk about securing the lives of our security forces. When we talk of dialogue, we talk about securing the interests of this country. When we talk of dialogue, we talk, oh, we talk about saving the, uh, the Kashmiri lives that are lost. Okay, day, so today you want dialogue with Pakistan? Are you? Today you want dialogue with Pakistan? You want dialogue with separatists today? Who? No, who are you? Everyone, with Azhar Mahmood? Every one of them. The, because the, the surgical the strike okay, has not worked. All right. Dialogue. Because the war since 65, 71, 99 has not worked. This country, the level of violence is increasing every day. More and more people are losing their lives every Nahin, day. Nothing else diya? is working. Yeah, there is operation you all out. Literally, all the towns and just, villages in Kashmir are garrisons now. And you are talking about what is the solution. And you we are Javans are losing lives every day. I can't believe this. इन लोगों को चार साल तुमने कश्मीर सौंपा है आज उसका नतीजा भुगत रहे हैं हम यू हैंडेड ओवर कश्मीर ऑन अ प्लेटर टू पीपल लाइक हिम दैट्स व्हाट वी आर पेइंग फॉर टुडे दैट्स व्हाट वी आर पेइंग फॉर टुडे दे हैव रीग्रुप्ड दे हैव रीआर्म दे आर टुडे रेडी टू गो टेपिकल टारगेट्स एंड बिल ये जितने कश्मीरी ये जो आइडियोलॉग्स हैं ना इनको पहले औकात में लाइए आप कुछ नहीं है यू यू आर द वर्स्ट सिटीजन्स ऑफ दिस कंट्री आप कौन होते हैं डायलॉग वाले बोलने वाले देखिए आप देर इस होल फॉरेन पॉलिसीज कैबिनेट में दिया दे डोंट नीड योर एडवाइस वी नो वी नो व उसके आज नतीजे आज देख रहे हैं जो आज नफरत जो नफरत डट हुआ ही है सही तरह से शुद्ध डायलॉग विद पाकिस्तान जिम्मेदार हैं आप जिम्मेदार हैं उनके कत्ल के जिम्मेदार हैं दुकान चलाइए आए दिन कश्मीरी नौजवानों को घाटी में जाके अपनी दुकान चलाइए दिल्ली में पीएसए लगा देते हो दुकान चलाइए हमारे कश्मीर की पी डी पी जो आज के दिन डायलॉग की बात करती है जो आज के दिन कह रही है की नफरत फैलाया है आप लोगों ने नफरत फैलाया है नफरत फैलाया है इंडिया ने जिसको ये इंडिया कहते हैं लेट मी टेल यू नजाम भाई नजाम भाई कश्मीर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया द डे यू बिगिन टू एक्सेप्ट दिस सारा जहर निकल जाएगा कश्मीर से जो जहर फैलाया हुआ है आपने एंड लेट मी गेट इन जुनेद मट्टू जुनेद मट्टू आई वांट टू आस्क यू आई वांट टू आस्क यू जस्ट दिस उनको भी खत्म किया यू नो वीव सीन ट्वीट्स कमिंग इन फ्रॉम महबूबा मुफ्ती कंडीशनल मॉर्निंग दैट्स गोइंग ऑन बाय महबूबा मुफ्ती एज वेल एज ओमर अब्दुल्ला आई वांट टू आस्क यू मिस्टर जुनेद मट्टू इज कंडेमिंग अटैक्स इनफ थ्रू ट्वीट्स व्हाई यू कंटिन्यू टू सपोर्ट अफजल गुरु एंड टेररिस्ट एंड सेपरेटिस्ट एंड पाकिस्तान सपोर्टेड पीपल Are we are we only going to express our condemnation through tweets, Mr. Junaid Matu? Each Nabika, each one of these chaps have lots of dialogue. Well, uh, none of the two uh, twin mainstream parties. They are identical twins. None of them uh, could give a damn about the sufferings of the people or Afzal Guru or what happened then. Uh, they, these are purely seasonal rhetorical changes, as I told you, uh, ahead of the election season, the party which imposed AFSPA or PSA and put people in prisons under PSA is now opposing PSA. So these are election time uh, tactics and, 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 and glimpses of sarcasm, uh, self-motivated uh, sarcasm. I, I will just, you know, in plain and clear terms say this, uh, that we need to condemn Terrorism, we need to condemn violence unequivocally. There is absolutely no place for violence of any sort in Kashmir. And every political party, every political leader in Kashmir 
should say this without any ifs and buts. There is no room for uh, the gun in Kashmir and uh, the, it is not a friend of the people. Terrorism or militancy is not a friend of the people of Kashmir. Well, well, Junaid Matu, I want to also ask you that those who are shedding fake tears, will they give up the demand when, when their own members of parliament write such letters to Prime Minister to hand over the mortal remains of Afzal Guru, Mr. Junaid Matu? When will this happen? If we terrorists this way, eulogize if we actually eulogize terrorists like Afzal Guru, do you think we'll ever see peace or ever see any sense coming back and returning to Kashmir? Well, I, I, I don't think that it is prudent to connect, uh, you know, the demand of mortal remains by the family of Afzal, Afzal Guru with this. Uh, you know, th th that, that is a completely different issue. Why? Uh, of course, and, it's and, and important. If, if that is it is important to take a stand. It is important to take a stand, Mr. Matu. You have to be one way or another. You can't, you can't be both sides appeasing this side and appeasing that side. You have to take a stand, Mr. Matu. You can't sail in two ships. No, no, listen to me, Navika. If the family of Afzal Guru legally demands his mortal remains, uh, they have a legal right to do that. If people play politics over that, Afzal Guru was hanged during the tenure of Mr. Umar Abdullah as the chief minister. Uh, so so if, if politics is played over that now, that is uh, ironic. If his family demands his mortal remains under the legal purview of their rights under the constitution, there is nothing wrong with that. To connect that with this terror attack is a far-fetched connection. I have clearly told you that the condemnation needs to be unequivocal and it needs to be uh, very clear and unambiguous. Is it unambiguous and clear? I told you I just read a tweet from Ms. Mahbuba Mufti and unfortunately it is extremely sad that even when uh, you know more than two dozen personnel uh, lose their lives in the line of duty, you have to condemn it and by at the same time uh, make political points. That is unfortunate and, 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 and that shows uh, you know political uh, waywardness and immaturity. Well, Sushil Pandit. I'm afraid. Sushil Pandit. He is saying legal rights of Afzal Guru's family. I want to know tonight how many of these politicians are thinking about the legal, the emotional and the moral rights of the families of these 40 braves who have lost their lives. What will happen to their children? What will happen to their children? What will happen to their children? You are diverting. You are diverting. It is pathetic. I don't know where first is Afzal Guru coming in picture. First of all, you need some diversion. Why don't you talk of, of the You need of the some diversion the first of all, before you butt in. This is a diversion. Just introspect. Afzal Guru kaan se beech mein aage? Just introspect. Afzal Guru ko kyon la rahe ho? Ye nikambi sarkar hai, desh ko bacha nahi paari hai. Har chhe mahine ke baad ye ho raha hai. Why don't you question the government's capabilities? Aap jo separatists ke darwane pe dastakar jaitte hai aur wo aap se milte nahi. Aap koi separatists ke darwane pe nahi gaya koi. Aap bahut effective log hai. Stop betting with the BJP. आप Stop लोग betting for the Pakistan BJP. proxy से बात एक करके आप लोग प्राइम मिनिस्टर को प्रोटेक्ट करना बंद करिए एक इनकेपेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर को प्रोटेक्ट करना बंद करिए तो किसको कि... क्या आदमी नवाज शरीफ के यहां पे गया था पूछा किसी ने क्वेश्चन व्हाई व्हाट वाज ही डूइंग विद नवाज शरीफ व्हाई इज पाकिस्तान द मोस्ट फेवर्ड नेशन नहीं तो आज के दिन आप ये सब बोलेंगे उस वक्त आके गिलानी के दरवाजा कैसे ढकिया हुआ है कि आप लोगों ने देश के लिए गिलानी का दरवाजा खटखटाने का दरवाजा आप लोगों को बचा नहीं पाएं डर जाओ आप अफजल गुरु अफजल गुरु कहां से आ गया यहां पे आज छह महीने के बाद हम पे हमले हो रहे हैं आप कह रहे हैं अफजल गुरु वो सिंबल है छह महीने पे गौरव भाटिया वो एमएल है कि पूरी तारीख और हिंदुस्तान में हम हमला जरूर कहूंगा और तुम कह रहे हो अफजल गुरु ये जो चर्चा चल रही है it is the faith in the Indian Army and its bravery, the faith and unwavering commitment of Narendra Modi ji. We will ensure that we are back on your debate on the day when Pakistan is given a befitting reply. When Pakistan learns its lesson. When Pakistan is eliminated completely, Modi sahab, I have that firm faith in, in the strength of Breaking this nation and people like this him is, for this is cannot incredible. take away Every from that faith. Every six months we are having an, an issue like this. Every six months.
इन लोगों को तो आपने घटिया कह दिया इन लोगों को आपने घटिया कह दिया पर कुछ ऐसे ही लोगों के साथ आपने सरकार चलाई है वहां जिनको आज आप इस तरह के नामों से पुकार रहे हैं एंड गौरव भाटिया आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू यू पंप यू थम योर चेस्ट एंड सेड आपने सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक्स किए हैं आज आज देश आपसे पूछना चाहता है गौरव भाटिया कहा थी आपकी इंटेलिजेंस कहा थी प्रोटेक्शन ये 2500 जवान जो जा रहे थे इनकी प्रोटेक्शन कहां थी आपने प्रोटेक्शन दी हुई है सेपरेटिस को एंड लुक एट लुक एट लुक एट द काइंड ऑफ बिल दिस कंट्री प्लेस फॉर दो प्रोटेक्शन वे वॉज द प्रोटेक्शन फॉर आर सोल्जर्स टू नाइट गौरव भाटिया ये जवाब तो आज आपको देना पड़ेगा एंड कमेंट ऑन द फेलियर ऑफ आई गौरव ये भी जवाब yes, देना पड़ेगा कि इस सरकार में इसकी जिम्मेदारी कौन लेगा इस सरकार में इसकी जिम्मेदारी कौन लेगा कल आप किसका असर मांगेंगे इसकी क्या राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा सलाहकार रहने से इसकी जिम्मेवारी लेंगे होम मिनिस्टर लाऊंगा नहीं सीआरपीएफ तो की पूरी की पूरी पलटन का पिता समान है गृह मंत्रालय के अंडर आता है सीआरपीएफ आज उनके बेटों की क्षति हुई है क्या गृह मंत्री इसका जवाब देंगे ना अब मैं बोल क्या राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा सलाहकार इसका जवाब देंगे right. क्या प्रधानमंत्री आज देश को संबोधित करेंगे आ सकता हूं प्लीज आज इस देश को कोई कुछ कहने वाला है क्या घर से बाहर निकलकर कोई दो शब्द सांत्वना के देने वाला है कोई ढाढ़स बनाने वाला है आपकी सरकार में जिम्मेदारी कौन लेने वाला है इसकी हाँ सुशील जी सुशील जी आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड योर पेन and i would only say like you are in pain every indian is and so are we the prime minister of the country for sure will not sleep till pakistan is taught a lesson i am sure while we are discussing the brave indian army is already choking out a plan but let us not yeah, speak on that. national television so it helps our enemy nation uh, pakistan let's not you know only talk on television the action will be seen by you and i'm sure of one fact that under the leadership of narendra modi ji the brave indian army will retaliate and i'll be back on times now proudly saying that pakistan once has been again we are brave. posturing pakistan once again we are destroyed. posturing that is my well, commitment ladies and gentlemen no, ladies, ladies and gentlemen so one minute desh intezar kar raha hai kya hoga uske baad one baat. minute one minute ladies and gentlemen i just want you to completely discount this political posturing because ladies and gentlemen i'm sure that those who have to no, plan Navika, these things this is not political posturing this is not political posturing as we are debating so are you are you going to are you going to announce on television what situation. action you are going to take the against pakistan so that pakistan can be meeting. better prepared are you saying that mr gaurav bhatia let i am i am only saying that proper and very strong action will be taken and beyond that i do not think when it, it happens we'll see sir but let's not be immature to, to start thumping our chest today itself let's by saying this will be done that will be done i'm sure Nobody neither is. you nor Nobody i is. are qualified yes, to take the these calls these calls will once again be taken by our soldiers by our braves uh, mr gaurav bhatia so let's not let's not get into this kind of a situation where we thump our chest the government ultimately decides and the government is firmly with the indian army at this moment yes the entire country sir not just the government the entire country is with the indian army and with all our forces including the 40 no, crpf jawans who lost so their life but i want to ask you mr BJP. gaurav bhatia when you are thumping your chest and you are saying action will be taken i want to ask you mr gaurav bhatia why First wasn't all, action taken to protect chest, to protect these 78 trucks that were going with these jawans tab aapko pata nahi tha तब आपको नहीं पता था कि कैसे प्रोटेक्ट करना है वो कॉरिडोर सैनिटाइज yes. क्यों नहीं हुआ तब आपको पता नहीं था कि कितनी जवाने लाइन पे हैं, वहां पे जवान लोगों की लाइफ लाइन पे हैं, तब आपको पता नहीं था आज 40 सोल्जर्स लूज करने के बाद आप Can कह रहे हैं कि हम करेंगे हम करेंगे नाविका 
at least don't cast aspersions on the intelligence of the army officers please. there, the intelligence agency. Please. They ensure oh, please. through their hard work, through their commitment. Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, I am not here and to score yes, points with you tonight, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia. Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, I am not here Gaurav to Gaurav score any political points. The National Security Advisor is looking into, points. 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 I I to is looking into it. One thing. We should and at least wait for the report to come. Yes. Or Yes, we will wait. Yes, we will wait. And Colonel Arisen Singh, Colonel Arisen Singh. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, some you know, while humility we, today, wa some while, humility. while we wait, while we wait for that report to come in, the Cabinet Committee on Security is All expected humility, to meet sir. at nine fifteen. I'm sure there are some decisions that will be taken. I'm sure there will be a plan in place. But tonight, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, also remember that the question is not only we are asking. ये 40 जवानों की फैमिलीज पूछेंगी उनके बच्चे पूछेंगे आपसे उनकी बीवियां पूछेंगी उनकी माएं पूछेंगी और उनके बाप पूछेंगे आपसे कि क्यों किया क्यों हुआ ये हमारे बेटे के साथ इस बात का एहसास भारतीय जनता पार्टी के हर लीडर को है Please. और सरकार को भी है मैं पूरी जिम्मेदारी से यह बात कह सकता हूं यह दुख उनका नहीं है यह दुख हमारा भी है और यह बात मैं दिल से आपसे कह रहा हूं देश का प्रधानमंत्री आज सोएगा नहीं ये बात मुझे पता है देश का गृह मंत्री ये सोचेगा कैसे जवाब देना है भारतीय सेना आज प्लान बना रही होगी और ये उनका एक्सपर्टीज है उन पे छोड़ देना चाहिए नाविका जी यस दैट कुंट अग्री एनी मोर विद दैट पर्टिकुलर लास्ट पॉइंट दैट यू सेड दैट दिस इज इन द डोमेन ऑफ द इंडियन आर्मी ऑफ द इंडियन डिफेंस फोर्सेज ऑफ आर सोल्जर्स दे विल टेक अ कॉल and ladies and gentlemen tonight all we can say is that we all our viewers and times now and all those who are associated with this country today stand mourn and salute our braves who laid down their lives in the line of duty